What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today guys, we have built a brand new Foot Champ squad. I have added um, a new player to the team, a new upgrade to the squad. And I want to show you the team right here guys. Uh, so on screen is what we're going to be rocking. Um, if, for those of you that missed it yesterday, go watch the video. I highly, highly recommend it. We obviously packed a monster card yesterday in the name of Hyung Min Son. Um, he's going to be playing for us today. And then we went and bought Gareth Bale. Uh, I'm obviously a big fan of Gareth Bale in this game. Big fan of Gareth Bale in real life. So he's going to be playing for us as well. We're still going to be playing the 4-4-2. Uh, we're going to have Ake and Gomez in the back line with Semedu and Jordi Alba. We're going to have Alan and Lorente as our two centre mids. Son and Anaki Williams are going to be our two strikers. And Bale and Fatty are going to be our left mid and right mids. Uh, and then on the bench, we've got Van der Beek, Ibrahimovic, Hakimi, Griezmann, Sancho, Krasko and Promes. And I am loving the fact that we have got um, all of the all of these players. You know, we have got such a really well built out squad already. Yes, I don't have the most coins in the world at the moment. We are we are kind of putting some things into place for that. We're at 90k right now. Um, but this weekend, obviously, it got delayed on Friday for weekend league, and that left us in a position where we were like late on games because I had a lot of other things to do uh, with with regards to creating content and whatnot. And whilst making that content. It actually got me to a point where I'm now considering seriously because of some of the silly moves that EA have played of using foot champs as second fiddle. And the reason why I'm saying that isn't because I don't want to play foot champs games. I have every intention to play all 30 games, if possible, every weekend. However, the fact that I'm in Division 1, the difference between Division 1, Rank 1, especially for me personally in my series, is crazy when rank one gets you an ultimate pack and a mega pack, rank two only gets you two rare mega packs, right? That's it. Now, if I take untradeable rewards and I get rank one, I will get obviously two ultimate packs and two mega packs. Now, that is a massive, massive amount of packs. Two ultimate packs per week will be huge. But I don't think it's going to be possible to get rank one in division one when playing uh foot champs from friday it has to be the division rivals games put first because we got seventeen thousand points and that is with one foot champs game and 29 rivals games and about 12 or 13 of those rivals games were me playing with nick when we were just getting no points and so if i actually dedicate myself and play all 30 properly i know i'll guarantee myself rank one div one every week and then the flip side of that comes into the foot champs rewards now, of course, if I play as many games as I can on Thursday and Friday for Foot Rivals and only focus on Foot Champs on Saturday or even just Sunday, the the difference in Gold 3 versus Gold 1 is 2 Mega Packs and a 50k pack and 30k coins versus 2 100k packs and 50k coins. So basically, if I go Rank 1, Div 1 first and then go Gold 3 afterwards, I will be getting 2 Ultimate Packs four mega packs, one 50k pack and 30,000 coins, which is amazing. If, however, I prioritize champs and not division one, that means I'll be getting division one rank two, which would be two rare mega packs and two 100k packs and 50,000 coins. And that's it. Now, there will be an opportunity, a potential that we go to elite three and we get ourselves a team of the week pack and 100k pack. I would still argue because there's no like team of the week is still generally terrible again. The, the premium team of the week pack is just not really worth it. The only thing that you're kind of getting more is the player pick bonus in Elite 3. So I want to try and find like a really good balance of getting like 15 or so champs uh, rivals games done Thursday, 15 or so rivals games done Friday, 15 or so champs games done Saturday, 15 or, champs or so champs games done Sunday. Now it's five o'clock on Sunday already and I've only played one game. And we've won it. We are going to play some more games now as well with that brand new team. But what I'm kind of like hoping on is that because I'm going to be starting my champs game so late in the weekend that we'll be able to pick up loads of easy wins in the early stages and still try and push up to gold two or gold one. Even if we're cramming games in, losing our head a little bit, maybe losing a few extra games than we would if we were taking our time. I think the trade off of getting div one rank one is way, way bigger. Um, so... I'm going to go into some games now uh, with this team. This is a team we're going to play for. I think we've got like two or three games for you for today's video, maybe three or four. We'll see what comes at 6 p.m. as well. 
Uh, I might build some two-player upgrade packs to end the video off with as well. We haven't done those in a fair while. I've, I've got a few commons. I should be able to build like four or five, maybe even six or seven of those, which would be quite good. And uh, yeah, for now, guys, that is the squad. Let's get in to some action. All right, guys, here is our first game of the day. Let's see what we're up against. He has got a 4-3-2-1, Insigne, Immobile, Hakimi, uh, Dybala, who's nice, Rajan Anglin and uh, Milinkovic Savic. A good backline as well. That is a really strong uh, Serie A squad. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up a win here. Here he goes. Here he goes. All that pace. All that pace. All that pace. And that finish. And that's 1-0. You love to see it. Oh, he's away again. Naki Williams into the space. We've got Hyung Min Son over there. Here is the Naki Williams. Finds Ansu Fati. Finds the back of the net. It's 2-0. And that is a first very nice, very easy win. Unless this guy's making changes rather than quitting. But that's a goal and an assist for Williams so far. Oh, this guy's got a good counter on here. We've got the ball inside. We've read it. It's Chiro Mobile. And Ake gets back. Bale was away there. Really should have played that ball into Bale. Gonna be space in the midfield. Son's away too. Here is Hyung Min. Oh, he's pulled his keeper. You can't bring your keeper in this game. Oh, well. You, you can't bring your keeper in this game. All right. We get another goal. That one doesn't count towards the goals, sadly, because OGs don't count. Here we go with Gareth Bale. Here we go with Gareth Bale. Here we go with Gareth Bale. Oh, I tried too much of him. I should have squared it. I should have squared it. Daniel, thank you for the 200 stars, man. Much appreciated, bro. Oh, he's putting pressure on me there. Actually pulled one back. What a finish. There's no point in me playing the game at the moment, you know. I just got 3-1 down and he's just like sitting there super deep. Not really uh, doing much to come and get the ball off me. Needs to come and get the ball off me. Nice a foul, no? Nice, Alan. That's lucky. I'll take that goal. That's lucky. That, that, that is one of the most frustrating th things in FIFA this year. He tackled me so perfectly, and the ball just dropped straight back to Anaki Williams. See, that's what... That's what well, <laughs> I mean, he gave away a foul there somehow, but... There it is. That's a hat-trick for Anaki. 5-1, and that is game over. And he is quit. So that is one game down. 2-0, and, and Aki Williams with a hat-trick. Let's get into game number three, boys. All right, guys, into game number three we go, and we are up against 4-3-3, DCL, Bale, Vinicius Jr., Valverde, Martial, Sissoko, Cancelo, Militao, Lodi, Davidson, Davinson, Sanchez, and Leno. That's an interesting team. It's a pen. <laughs> when he slid, I just run into him. I think Williams has got good pens as well, hasn't he? Got to be angry about <laughs> When he stood back up, he tripped me over. Who's got pens for me? Oh, we'll, we'll pop it to. We'll give it to Gareth Bale. Man, I just missed so many penalties, don't I? God damn it. Now we've got to be careful with uh, with him because red cards are hard to come by as straight reds in this game. What a save that is. Oh, come on now. But yellows are so easy to come by in this game that a second yellow won't be difficult. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm actually losing. Back. 
Let's go in Aki. There we go. Love that. Hyung Min Son, 1 1. Oh, this guy's butchered his, uh, butchered his chance there. God knows what he was doing, but. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm losing the plot here. He's going to score this as well. I could feel it. tackle but again doesn't matter come on there we go 3-2 25 minutes to go oh what a lucky challenge that is And a lucky block in there as well. Come on, Williams. Let's go. 3 3. Back in it, boys. Let's go. Come on. Woof. Let's go. We've actually managed to come out on top on that game. That is nice. 3 0. And literally just staying composed when I went down to 10 men and 3-1 down. Got me back into that. 10 men for the whole game. Four saves for Allison, Eight saves for his Leno. And we get a big win there. That is nice. That is very nice. I feel like that's the deserved win as well. I really do. I feel like we played really, really well there. I'm happy with that. Uh, I think opening Mega Packs right now is, is smart, right? You know, I, I don't know if everybody has them or what. But... We tried the 5k pack method, it's fine. Like once again, you know, mega packs with coins, you get so many things that you could sell here. So many players that would sell. So many, like, consumables that would sell. We don't get a board, and that's absolutely okay. As long as we get 77, 75s and good consumables, we're banking, right? So we get 77 Yarmolenko, but apparently is... on Yeah, 77, Jesus. 77 Tiago Mendes, who will be able to sell for a bit when we get our trade pass space opened up. And a 75 Dummit that we'll be able to get like 3 or 4k for as well when our trade pass space opens up. We've got some consumables we'll be able to get rid of. Um, we get... Mm, I don't think that that's, that stadium thing will sell there. And wow, we actually got a bit, bit shafted out of that mega pack. That wasn't the best mega pack in the world, to be fair. I, I will make probably about 15 to 20k max back off of that pack. That, that's a fairly poor pack. I don't know why people are buying commons more than they're buying um, buying rares. But obviously, John Joe Shelby finally sold there. We are making good profit off of all of these commons in our club. So no matter what, even if we don't sell these players right now, storing these other cards in, in the club is, is just going to make us lots of coins long term. So if I pop him up for like 32, 3300, we'll get some of those coins back off of him. Obviously, the contracts and whatnot um we can't get rid of just yet but yeah mega packs right now with coins aren't gonna be terrible if you get mad unlucky like i just got there then yeah you might still lose some coins but i don't think it's a terrible idea all right guys welcome back uh we have finished the rule breaker for ourselves uh we ended up using actually the ucl sorry the uh, libertadores cards most of them untradeable um we've got a tradable gertner in goal we then have untradable uh otalavaro untradable rodriguez untradable salvio untradable on Untradable Fuenzalida, Untradable Miranda, Tradable Simon, but he's only worth 700 coins, Untradable Bizzini, Untradable Fernandez, and Untradable Arangel. And that gives us everything to get this mega pack. Now, other than the tradable mega pack that we opened today and yesterday, the last untradable mega pack we opened had Courtois and Hyung Min Son in. Uh, I've filled up my trade pile again, full of loads of golds. They should eventually sell. And even though I'm down to 75,000 coins, we have put so much into our club from opening those packs and stuff that by the time I start sorting through it and selling everything off, position modifiers and stuff like that, it's going to be a great time. So let's see what we get in this pack. No walkout, no boards. Oh, it could still be a board. All right, come on. Give me a good 83, 84, 85 in here, EA. Come on. Give us something nice. Nothing. Nada. Zip, zilch, zero. All right. A hawk and a shadow. I will take that. Black neck gold colors. 
Not bad. Um, and then, oh, buy a unit crouch arm. And then uh, some uh, some golds here that I believe are mostly untradeable. Now, what we're going to do to finish off for today, guys, is I'm going to go and build some two-player packs. And as you can see, like with Milik and whatnot here and stuff as well, basically, if the player doesn't get into one of my squads for a first owner league or nation squad, I'm going to use them up to like an 81 or 82 rated. Um, because we've just got so many untradeable common go or rare golds now. Might as well just put them into two player packs. So I'm going to build like probably 10 um, around there. Um, I've got rid of all the commons that I want to get rid of now as well. So yeah, let's go and build those guys and I'll be right back. All right. All right, guys, welcome back. This is going to be the end of the video for today. We've got 20 sales here. Nice amount of coins there as well. Nothing crazy. Some of these commons not selling for much. Some of them seemingly would have sold for a bit. Yeah, 1100 on that one. 1100 on that one. 2300 for the red and black, black stadium base paint. We still got more uh, coming and going. Um, we'll keep relisting. We'll try and get rid of those as they go. But as I say, to end off, we've got 10 uh, two-player packs. A um, bit of a weird video again today. Not much gameplay, but of course, we have got lots and lots and lots of gameplay to go. So I didn't end up getting through uh, Syria, I guess. Um, so here we go. 10 two rare gold player packs, guys. Let's just hope for something nice, something big. Walkouts, boards in. Walkout straight away. Let's go. Come on. German, goalkeeper, Barcelona. Oh my God, that's a huge pack. Mark andre Ter Stegen, let's go, man. Now, he doesn't fit into our team because of uh, the Premier League set we got back there, but that is a monster pool. Woo. Big 90 rated, worth 30K. It covers the price of all the packs just off of him alone. Things you love to see. Oh, just as I open this next pack, Arsenal have got a free kick. Eight minutes in. We've already been robbed of a goal. It should be 1-0. Granite Xhaka, Lacazette. No boards here. David Luiz leaves it alone. Come on, Arsenal. Let's pop it in the back of the net, boys. Palacios and Raul Garcia coming in. Raul Garcia tradable. Love to see it. Come on. Come on. Pop this in the back of the net. Laka or Xhaka? Or Saka? I don't care. It's Xhaka. It's the wall. That's terrible. Oh, it's a blue. Could still be a good board in here. Hakimi, 83. Nice. You don't mind that at all. Seven more to go. You don't mind that at all. Come on, so we've already had one walkout and one board. It'd be so sick if we could pack one of the new cards, man, you know. I was hoping to see that uh, that theme when we, when we got the pack there. Another tradable card going for an untradable. That's always nice. So we've thrown away nothing so far, which is brilliant. Next two player pack. Man, another big goalkeeper. That's what's up. Boards, come on. Give me like a Rashford or something. Dutch. Left mid. Who's that? Oh, Bergwijn. Another Premier League player. Tempted to use him and get rid of Bale and pop, pop him on seven chem. Four star, two star. Nah, he's just not the one. But an 83 and an 81 that we have to throw away, which is why I wanted to get rid of all the 81s in the first place. Five more to go. This has been really, really nice. Oh, wait, what did I say? Did I say Neuer? I meant Ter Stegen. Boards! Was that a walkout? I didn't even see. Belgian. CDM. It's Witzel, isn't it? Hey, that's nice. These packs have been really, really good for us, guys. I'm glad I built these. Obviously, we could still get something massive out of one of these. Oh, Boateng as well. Witzel and 84. So, if next time we've actually got an SBC we want to do, we'll have some uh, some good players. Bellerin! Is Bellerin! Oh, what a block. Come on. More boards. No boards here. Oh, blue. Could still be boards. Come on, give us a big 84, 85. No, 82. What would I really love right now? What would like just compliment my team the best? Like a Mohamed Salah or a or, or a uh, like a Sterling or a Mane would be like ideal right here. No boards here. Also, like what could we use? An Eder Militao would be quite nice just to put into the club. No, we've got Renato Sanchez I chose not to get rid of. Two more to go, guys, to end off today's video. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. No walkout. How are we going to get a walkout on the first one? Okay, we could still have a board here again. Because it's a blue again. We don't. Zarate. Is he tradable or untradable? Untradable. That's a throwaway card. And so, guys, for the end of today's video, here we go. Another two rare gold players pack. What are you saying, EA? Come on, let's start with the walkout. Let's end with the walkout. Nope. No board either. So, that is going to be it, guys. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with loads of gameplay. Loads. Ooh.
Now, that's sick. I know he's only 10k, but a first owner Rodrigo is massive. Oh, that's nice. I might play him instead of instead of Bale as well. I don't know what I'm going to do. We've got... Oh, man, our, our first time of Road to Glory is coming up trumps. Guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.